Okay, the next topic we're going to talk about are couples. And the definition of a couple is two parallel forces with the same magnitude in opposite directions but separated by a distance. So, for example, what I have over here, I have one force in this direction, a negative force, same magnitude, opposite direction, separated by a distance d. And we'll talk about how those are all related in a little bit. Okay, but what I have here is I have the fact that the resultant, mo I'm sorry, the resultant force is zero, okay? Because if I sum these two forces up, I have F minus F equals zero. So I have no, uh, you know, linear force. I'm left with pure rotation. So if you think about, say, a, a steering wheel on a car, and I've got my hands on either side, I lift up with my right hand, down with my left hand, and I'm creating a pure rotation about uh, the center of that wheel. That's what I have with a couple moment. Okay, and that will follow the right hand rule. Okay, make your fingers curl on your right hand in the direction that the moment's gonna go, and your thumb points in the direction of the vector. Again, right hand fingers curl around, showing you uh, the direction of the rotation. So that's the definition of a couple. So Let's move on to three dimensions and talk about taking the moment of a couple about an arbitrary point. Now I'm choosing point O in this picture. Again, O could be here, could be here, could be here, could really be anywhere you want on or off the body. It does not matter. Okay? I'm going to get uh, a similar looking equation where I have a uh, position vector R to A and a position vector R to B. Okay? Now, um, you know, and that's going from one you know, to each of the forces. Because to find the resultant moment, I have to sum up my R cross F. So I have RA cross negative F plus RB cross positive F. Okay, those are, that's the resultant of uh, the, the, the two moments created by the two forces that are equal and opposite. Okay, now massaging this equation, redistributing it a little bit, okay, I put the negative uh, over with the RA, and then I pull out the F, and I get RB minus RA cross F. That's just redistributing the equation. But this um, this equation right here, this part of the equation, RB minus RA, as we know from uh, position vectors, is simply the vector between the two forces. Right? If I look, um, you know, RA plus R equals RB. Okay, uh, with vector addition. Okay, and that R is the position vector uh, between the two forces. So why is that important? Well, what it means is, again, I'm going to get this result regardless of where I take O. If I take O over here, I'm going to have RA, RB. But the fact of the matter is, is RB minus RA is still the position vector between the two forces, which is all that I'm interested in in taking the moment of a couple vector. So if I think about two dimensions, if I have a perpendicular distance d here, the magnitude is simply going to be the distance from one force to the other. Okay, and I can go from this one to this one or this one to that one times the force. So it'll just be f times d. Okay, again, that's the perpendicular distance in two dimensions, which is pretty easy to figure out. Now in three dimensions, finding that perpendicular distance can be very, very challenging, if not impossible. So we use uh, the cross product, as we typically do in three dimensions. We use perpendicular distances in two dimensions. Okay, so that's how I find what the moment is. Again, follow the right-hand rule to calculate that. Find that moment of that couple. Now, the fact of the matter that I only am concerned with the position between the two forces means that the moment is independent of location. Regardless of where I choose point O, this equation for the moment of the couple is exactly the same. It's still R cross F, R being the position vector between the two forces. So if I choose point O over here, the moment is still the position vector from A to B or from B to A. I can go either way across. Okay. Uh, any place I choose, I'm going to get the exact same uh, value for the moment of that couple. Okay, It's independent of location. It does not matter, which is unlike the force. It very much matters where I take the location of a single force. But if I have a couple moment where I have two forces equal and opposite separated by a distance, okay, the location is unimportant. 
What that means is I have a free vector, and this is a key point in moments which makes them very easy to deal with uh, in systems. Okay, a free vector, again, the location is, is independent. So essentially, this couple moment acts everywhere and anywhere on the system that I'm looking at. Okay, so I can just take a couple moment independent of the location. So if I'm trying to find the total moments, okay, and I have and I have a force and a couple, I can just add that couple in regardless of where it's located or where the location of the point I'm taking the force about. Okay, which is a very powerful tool that has a free vector independent of location, essentially acts everywhere and anywhere uh, on the system that I'm looking at.